The dozens of Little Rock teachers who refused to show up to campus for class today will be disciplined. Thanks for watching. I'm Craig O'Neill and we continue to follow the moves of the teachers union and now the counter moves of the district and TV 11's Ashley Godwin is outside Little Rock School District Administration Building Headquarters where the superintendent briefed us just hours ago and Ashley, what was the turnout today? Craig, according to the Little Rock School District, 69 teachers submitted that letter saying they were not coming to class anymore. They would only uh, teach virtually. Now for today's numbers, there were more than 150 teachers that called in sick and the current concerns stretch far beyond the school and teachers. This is also hitting parents as well. It's beyond infuriating for me. It doesn't make sense to me that they would still allow schools to be open after two schools have had to close down entirely. Parent Chelsea Hudspeth chose virtual learning for her daughter, knowing she wanted her child as safe as possible. Now she's reassured about her decision after the first few months of learning. The question becomes, wh where's the threshold? At what point do you decide that we've had enough people sick and suffering that we're going to, you know, go ahead and take it home? The Little Rock Education Association has been adamant safety should come first in schools and has repeatedly called for state and school leaders to transition from in-class learning to virtual. Now the union is taking action as teachers demand to work virtually until cases start to diminish in Arkansas. This included letters that teachers sent out Sunday night to let principals know they weren't coming to class. It is unfortunate that that is the first reaction is that we're going to be disciplined or terminated. Um, this is about keeping people safe. And we will move forward on making sure that we have all that appropriate information, have all the appropriate people who did submit those letters so that appropriate discipline will occur for those 69 individuals. From the latest Little Rock School District COVID-19 numbers, there are 32 students and staff that are positive with 172 in quarantine. Poor says there will not be a switch to all virtual in the district. You know, we want teachers to work and collaborate together. They can do that better in a school environment. We want to provide in-person learning. And the Little Rock School District did tell us that these absentee numbers are only slightly higher than what they would see on a normal day for their 1900 fully staffed school district. So they tell us that the school district is hiring more staff. They are making sure that they have enough um, people that can teach in the classroom if this does persist. And about an hour ago, the district issued a written response to all the union's complaints addressing one by one. And we have that on THV11.com.